Hi, David. Hope you're well, and thank you for sending me that video and kind of updating me where you're at. Um, I just want you to know that um, I'm here for you, and um, I don't want you to ever feel like, I don't know, like that you owe me something or, you know, I haven't got with him in a while. I got to do this for him or something. I just, I, I just want you to know that I'm here for you, and I guess for me, sometimes maybe that's why I'll send a message out, hey, how are you doing? It's not like, hey, are you working on your game? Or, you know, it's not necessarily at, at that. It's, uh, um, I just always want you, you, you know, my other students know that I, I'm here. I'm here to help you. That's what you pay me for, and I want to be available for you. Um, I know some people have a nightmare with their coaches, like getting a reply from them on skills in like 48 hours and stuff like that. I'm like, geez, that's crazy. And I understand you get busy and everything, but I've always believed you can send a message and say, you know what, crazy busy, I'm so sorry, I'll get back with you tomorrow or whatever the case may be. But anyways, um, just wanted to throw that out and let you know, um, know that. And no, I think, you know, you're busy, I get it, and I think you're a great guy, so uh, just want you to know I'm here for you. I know I said it a bunch of times. Um, so looking at your swing, you know, it was interesting, you're, uh, you got to a pretty good position here, right? But what I really want to talk to you about is just general concept here today of stuff. And it's um, what happens when we are like this over the top, right? And then you're like this is what you have to do in order to hit the ball. You know, you'll never be good at three woods. You'll never be good at five woods. You'll have that occasional slice. You're going to be relying on hand timing so much. You'll have a day where you'll shoot an 80, you'll have a day where you'll shoot a 95. And you know what the, ba the sad thing about that is? You'll be doing that same thing when you're 65. Nothing will have changed. You won't, you won't have improved, okay? All, all the work and all the years you put into it in between won't have helped you. So we cannot, th there's certain things in golf swings, okay? I'm trying to think how to word this. There's certain things in golf swings that are allowable, you know, and certain things that aren't, okay? Um, you know, it's like Jim Furyk's swing, way out here. But if you look at him, he gets back in here, okay? Lee Trevino is one of those out here and in here, right? Um, you look at every guy in tour, unless, if they're trying to cut the ball, they're probably right here. It's on, on line with their hands or right here. But everybody's, most of them are right here, club behind their hands, okay? So... How did we get there? I, I want to produce a, or show you a drill for you that you, I want you to do when you go to the range next. And I want you to do this off a tee. So, you know, you can either do it from the lead better position, which is fine, or you can work on your backswing at the same time. So from here, we're gonna go like this. Look how my hands fall. And the gravity takes this club head down. So if I'm here, Hands are almost coming straight down, and gravity pulls this. And then from there, I want you to unwind as fast as you can and hit the golf ball, okay? Here's the thing. If you can get your club right here, David, from there on, you can swing as hard as you want forever, you know, and you don't have to worry about it. Your dispersion level will be so small, okay? So drill, either lead. Also, uh... I don't know if we've done the split gripped drill, have we? Split. You would do it like this. I think this angle would be best for you. Here, but then look how I'm going to come here. Uh, this is the main deal, coming straight down with this hand. Yours goes out to the ball, okay? If I drew a path, and I think I did on one of your videos, hand path to the ball. Think of it going straight down, okay? So now it's going to be hard to do it in transition when you're at the beginning. That's why we do it like this. Okay, just to learn. So we start like this, we go here, here. And that way you just start learning what it's like swinging from this inside. Remember, I want these balls going out to the right, way out to the right, okay? 20 feet out right, if you're using like an eight iron, okay? It's not a speed drill either, okay? But also, you know, feel this club, let the gravity drop it. So if you take your club up here, if I take my right arm off, look what happens. From there's from there is where you're swinging hard, okay? 
we have to fix that hand path, which is essentially the club path, because you, when you come into the ball, you're steep, okay? Club is steep versus I want you like this. Shallow. Shallow is closer to horizontal, okay? Steep is perpendicular to uh, the ground, okay? So that's steep. So boom, 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 okay? You're gonna love this, okay? Uh, and let me know how it goes, and uh, if we got a time we can get on together when you're at the range, let me know, and we'll do it. And I'll watch you, and I'll watch you do this drill. But I want you to really focus on this being your number one drill. And if you need to do them all from the lead better position, that's fine. Just make sure we get here, here, and then go. And we're not worried about getting it back left, like I'm saying. Just we're worried about getting this ball, you know, where it's going to be probably 20 feet left. But when you're in here, you're going to find out you're automatically going to rotate this hard, so hard, David, that you're just, you're going to rotate. Everything's going to work properly like it should. You know, you're a super athletic guy, right? And I'm looking at your swing last night, and you're like this at impact. Like no rotation in the hips, nothing, where you should be like this, okay? So... You know, obviously, I know you want to do this. You signed up for it for a year. Um, let's, let's, if we do anything, you know, let's make sure we fix this hand path and get you coming from the inside because that'll change your whole world forever, okay? Like, now you have a chance to be really good or to be more consistent, okay? You have a chance to hit every three wood out of the fairway that you want, not topping it because you're so... What happens is when your hands come out and you're steep like this, this is what happens three wood. Your low point is in front of the ball now. So if we come like this with it steep over the top, look how I'm gonna top it. Look where I catch it. Boom. Every time that happens. So not every time. Sometimes we time it out perfect, uh, but not often, right? So anyways, and you, you're strong enough. You, you could really become a bomber of the ball when you get this. So once again, and I would watch it, you know, I would have a mirror back here. Make sure this thing is going through the right shoulder, okay? I'm just letting this drop. I'm not pulling it, and that's a key. I do not like people doing this because it starts a bad habit, okay? I'm letting this drop to here. Then I'm getting ready and go, okay? Let me know what you think, and let me know if you want to hook up. Uh, we can do a zoom on the range, and uh, I think this will really help you, my friend. Thank you.